Hello everyone and welcome back. So we are now going to create the online business card that you have seen at the start of this video. So basically the online business card that we are going to create has uh, this uh, uh, sections. So we have a, the top section that is consuming the entire width, but in relation to the entirety of uh, the height, right? Uh, the top section is more or less kind of like a 30% and the bottom section is around 70% uh, of the height. And the bottom section is also divided into two. So uh, we're, we will use this as a guide. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to create a folder. I'm heading over to the folder location where I wanted to place this project. I'm going to create that folder and name this uh, online underscore B card. While that folder is selected, I'm going to click this button and we are going to create our index.html file over here. And of course, the uh, styles.css file and let's generate the HTML template and make sure that we are going to link our styles.css. And if you have been following with the series, you must be familiar already with Font Awesome. We are going to utilize this later on. But before that, we are going to copy this font awesome link from cdngs.com. So just click this icon over here and click create and create another link tag and paste that uh, font awesome link. I pressed Alt Z on the keyboard to wrap the code from this available, uh, visually available screen. All right, so just like our layout over here, uh, the, our project is divided into multiple sections, right? So from our main uh, uh, tag over here, we can have a div here. So I can type div and then dot, and I'll type the class attribute of top section. If we press tab, it will auto complete like so with the class attribute. So that's one technique as well. And of, of course we can copy paste this one because we also have the bottom section. All right, so these two divs right here represents this one, the top section and the bottom section. And the bottom section is also divided into two, which is left and right. So we can go ahead and paste uh, this div again here, and we are going to name this left section, and let's paste another one. This is going to be the right section. So the one at the top right here is going to be the name. So you can use H1 or H2. Anyway, you can format this later on in CSS. So I'll just type here a random name, uh, John Rodriguez, and perhaps uh, with the title of MD for uh, whatever title that you wanted to place in there, okay? I'm not even sure if this is the proper title for medical doctor. So anyway, I'll type here H5, a smaller header, right? And maybe I'll type here uh, whatever it is that you wanted to type here. You can even type here web developer or uh, programmer or game developer. It's up to you. So it doesn't really matter for now, just put some data here. And here in the left section, we are going to have a list here, right? And for example, from our layout, we have a list of information, right? And here we are going to utilize first the icons from Font Awesome. So for example, the phone, we can search for phone over here. So after you search for the phone, you can actually select the one that you prefer. For example, you are going to select this one, just click this code uh, from Font Awesome and we are going to paste it over here. Save our work and if we are going to right click here, open with live server, uh, we should now be able to see uh, the data that we have written on VS Code. So, so far we only have this H2, H5 and this list over here. And uh, if we are going to look at the screenshot of our project, which is over here, so we have one, two, we have four items in our list, right? So let's go ahead and copy and so make sure to highlight everything and paste that three more times and head over to uh, uh, Font Awesome because we're going to be needing the icon for the email, uh, some social media icons as well. So we're going to search for email and there you have it. We have something like this here. Uh, make sure to replace this I tag, okay? We can paste it like so, overwrite it. And we need a social media icon, for example, a Facebook, or whatever it is that you wanted to uh, select. 
I think uh, pretty much all social media uh, website have icons on font awesome. So this one is going to be uh, deleted and replaced it with that. And we're going to be looking maybe YouTube. Okay, there it is. We have YouTube icon. Copy that and paste that right over here, overriding the previous one. So if we are going to check the preview of our project right here, okay, we have those uh, social media icons. So for the phone number, we can just go ahead and type a random uh, uh, number here. I'll just type something like this. All right, so it doesn't really matter as long as we have some data in there for preview purposes. And uh, I'm going to get rid of this uh, pane like so because we have access to styles that CSS over here in this tab anyway. So let's continue. Uh, we, can, we can go ahead and type some uh, uh, data over here. I'll just base that on the name. I'll just type here john dot, uh, dot r at example.com. And for the uh, uh, Facebook, maybe uh, I'll just type here my facebook.com. Uh, all right, so but you know already that th this could be a URL. And if you want this to be clickable, you can wrap this with an anchor tag. But right now, we will just stick to this one. So for the YouTube, uh, I'll just type here my YouTube uh, channel or something like that. And there you have it. So now we have the information for the top section. This one is in the left section based on our screenshot, right? And the one on the right is going to be an image. So we are going to place our image over here. So IMG and then tab. And uh, you can download this image from the description below. Uh, this AI generated photo, uh, th that is going to be our default photo that we are going to play with with this project. And this uh, graphics as well. Uh, you can also download that in, our, uh, in the description below. So I'm going to copy this and uh, control shift E to bring back this pane. Uh, or this frame right over here and right click and reveal in file explorer i'm going to control v to paste that photo in this area as you can see and we already have it here in vs code there you have it so now we can type the file name over here which is default.png once we save our work and that photo will appear in our project all right so that's pretty much it for the html we can now head over to uh, css and let's target everything first because we were going to be using the box sizing property, right? Border box. So uh, margin, we are going to set the margin everything to zero because by default, uh, CSS has some default uh, uh, margin. And we want to make sure that to get rid of all the default padding as well for all elements. And after that, we are just going to put here a font family, uh, maybe Arial for now. All right, so now we're going to be targeting the body right over here because we are going to center all of our elements on the uh, page, both horizontally and ver ver vertically. Therefore, we're going to be using display flex over here and we're going to say justify content center and we're going to be aligning the items to center as well. It seems to be that nothing is happening on the page because display flex is going to be effective only if we are going to set some height. So for the body, we'll just set the height to 100 view height. There it is. So if we are, if we are going to zoom out, as you can see, uh, our, all of our elements is on the center of the page. Our image is too large, so we can quickly fix that over here by, had, by adding a height attribute of 170 or maybe 100, 150. Let's try 150. There you go. I think that's fine. So height attribute inside the IMG uh, uh, tag over here. Let's go back to styles.css. And we are now going to target the main that contains all of these elements over here. So I'm going to type main here. Maybe we can set the width. By the way, aside from pixels, you can also utilize like centimeters as your uh, uh, unit of measurement. And uh, maybe the height is going to be around 8 centimeter. Okay. So we're going to say display flex. So we already, we already have a height. So our, our uh, flex box is going to work. So flex direction, okay, we're going to say column, all right, and background. Uh, I'm not sure. We probably don't even need that, but I'll just place it there for now. So background color, we'll just select some color for now, maybe that one. Okay, I think we're good. And I'll just put some uh, box shadow 
of 0 pixels and 10 pixels, uh, 15 pixels, and minus 3 pixels, RGBA. Uh, this is going to be a combination of red, green, blue. But if we are going to set everything to 0, uh, it's going to be black. And the last, and this one, the A, the alpha, is going to be the opacity. If you are not going to specify the alpha, it's going to be automatically 1. Or uh, So even if you type 1 or not, it doesn't matter. But this becomes important if you will set a value of 0 0.5. So that is now become kind of like a transparent, okay? All right, so I think that's enough for the main. And we are now going to target, let's make sure to save this. So we are going to target first the top section over here. So let's copy this class and that type of period here, top section. And we will set the height of around 30%, right? So that we can uh, uh, set the value for the bottom. Uh, let's, let's do it now. The bottom, the, so the bottom section is around 70%, okay? Height, 70%. And to differentiate visually between the two, we will temporarily assign a background color, uh, maybe a light brown for this. I'm going to hover over here and select a lighter uh, color, like so. And for the bottom, uh, let's just copy this back. Oops. Let's just copy this, paste over here, and we will select something like, uh, it doesn't matter, just any color, just to differentiate between the two. And we also have the left section, right? Left section, and we also have the right section that contains the image. Okay, so left section, we will assign a background color. Uh, you can just pick any color for now. This is just temporary. Okay, this one is going to be uh, probably yellow, just to make sure they are differentiated. And we are now going to divide them, right? Because our layout, as you can see, uh, hold on, let me, I think this one, right? Yeah, so this is going to be more or less the size of the right section. Uh, probably 30% will try that, and this one is around uh, uh, 70. Okay, so let's do that uh, section. We're going to set a width of 70%, and the width for the right section is around 30%. All right, so uh, as you can see with this list, there are still the default bullets. Let's go ahead and take care of this one first. We're going to remove that. So this one belongs to the left section, and that is an unordered list, right? And that is living inside the left section, as you can see over here. So what we're going to do is right over here below the left section, we can type left section and then UL, list style uh, over here, and then say none. And there you have it. There's no more styling. All right, so let's just add some properties here. For example, the padding, uh, maybe around 20 pixels. Hold on, let me just put it here over to the side and I will zoom out a little bit. Okay, we'll add more properties later on. Uh, what we're going to do for now is we still have this uh, graphic elements. Uh, where is it? Right over here, this one. So I'm going to copy that. So I just selected it and control C on my keyboard. I'll right click here, reveal in file explorer. I'm going to go inside that folder and paste that in. So the file name is bc underscore 4.png. If we are going to click that in VS Code, we have this kind of like a wave effect. So basically what we're going to do is something like this. Like, allow me to show you this in uh, uh, this graphics as well. So what we're going to do is we will place this like on top, okay, on top of everything. Uh, since this is a PNG file, it's going to be transparent uh, and at the bottom part, right? So, so it's on top. That means it is located before everything. So, for example, this is our main tag at the back. We will just specify a before, okay? Uh, a pseudo class before, before this container over here. So, let's do that in CSS. So, uh, our... Uh, main tag over here is the one that contains all of this, right? And currently, this is how it looks like. We are going to improve that layout uh, more, of course. So we're gonna say, we're, so we're gonna target this main over here in CSS. 
uh, let's just put it right here, just below the main, just below uh, this part right here. So we're gonna say main and then type here double colon and you'll say before, right? And then open in curly braces. All right, so after this, we, uh, we actually set the content to blank. All right, uh, every time we are going to place uh, something on top, like an image of like this, uh, a PNG image on top of something, or maybe other uh, technique. Uh, the, the content over here, I mean, if you are going to type here some text, hold on, should be inside the double quotes. If you are going to type here some text, it will actually show up over here, as you can see. But right now, just uh, initialize it to blank. And we want to make sure that it is on the same height with, uh, with the one right here. So it's uh, an element before the main. So just use percent, including the width, to make sure that they are on the same, that they are uh, the same size with this element over here. And we want to make sure also that its position is the same with the main here. So we're going to set a position of absolute. And it's not going to work unless we are, we are also going to add here a position of relative on this part over here. Now we can use the background uh, uh, property to add that image. You type here URL and then uh, double quotes. Single quotes is also going to work. And type the file name. And we, we want to make sure that this one will not repeat and will be centered both horizontally and vertically. And it is going to cover... Uh, it's a relative uh, uh, container over here, which is going to be the main. And as you can see, we already have the image on our project. All right, so let's try to fix this image. So uh, over here, this is going to be the right section, right? So right section, and that is going to be the IMG tag that we are going to target. We are going to set the border radius to 50% so that it is uh, in circular uh, 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 format or layout. And we are going to set a border of around 5 pixels, solid, and then white. And we have something like that. And uh, let's make sure that this image is centered to its parent, which is the right section div, right? So we're going to use a display flex over here. All right. And justify content center. There you go. Uh, align item center to make sure it is centered both horizontally and vertically. All right, so we're going to also fix the, the, this uh, left section and the right section should be arranged horizontally like in row or uh, side by side to each other, right? So I think their parent is the bottom section. So the bottom section, let's just assign a width here of 100%. And we are going to... Uh, Add a display flex over here. And uh, there you have it. We already have the image at the side uh, by default. Uh, uh, because if you are going to set the uh, flex direction to column, uh, it will go back to that. So without specifying row like this, by default, display flex is in a row configuration. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is to make sure that this information right over here is on top of this element. Uh, there is a property called Z index. Uh, it will help us arrange this like uh, on the top of this image, like closer to our view or closer to the user's uh, view. So uh, I believe that one is the left section right over here. Let's type a Z index property. For now, let's just assign two. And there you have it. Um, basically, for example, uh, uh, this image, let's go back to that image over here. Oops, let's cancel that. Uh, let's assign a value, for example, uh, 4. Remember that this one is currently in Z index 2. So if we're going to set this one to 4, it will cover up again. So basically, the higher the number, uh, the closer it is to the user. That's how the Z index works, right? So uh, I'm going to, uh, we can assign this to 1 uh, because we know, or we, we don't have to assign it at, at all, okay? Uh, but we can leave it like that to 1. And the left section is in two. Therefore, this one is covering or on top of that image. So what we, what we can do now is remove this uh, violet. All right, we don't need that anymore. So right now, obviously, what we can do is to center this more or less over here, both horizontally and uh, vertically. 
Okay, so as you can see, it's arranged by default in row, right? So you can go, just go ahead and say uh, flex direction column. Okay, I think it would be better if we are going to transfer this. Okay, let's go ahead and cut these four codes and assign it to the left section like so. So that, I mean, uh, look at look at the difference. Everything here is not aligned here. If we are going to transfer this uh, to the parent of UL, okay, we are going to place it here and we will have something like that. So basically the display flex, you assign it to the parent or to the container and it will affect its children, right? So the left section is holding the entire UL. So therefore we are only targeting the UL, not every LI over here. Okay, so that was the difference. If we put it over here, the display flex was assigned to the UL and it will affect each child, the LI. So right now we are just targeting the UL since we place the display flex in, uh, in this container, the left section. So basically we are almost done. And uh, uh, as you can see, we also have uh, the text over here with the top section. Uh, we already know what to do with that. Uh, let's look for the top section and let's assign a Z index. I think we can just uh, put here like a higher value and let's, let's assign the text. We can remove now the background color, I believe. And let's uh, assign a uh, color for the text to white. And maybe we can have some padding. Let's try 20 pixels. It looks good for me. And the line height. Uh, I want to make sure to have some spacing between the name and the title. So we can use line height probably around 1.5. And I think that's good, maybe 2. Uh, I think 1.5 or maybe around 1.6 is fine. Okay, we can now remove the background color or before that, maybe we can arrange this further, uh, the UL over here. Maybe we can have a padding, uh, let's see. Uh, maybe a margin top, let's try margin top. Margin top to around uh, 30 pixels, uh, maybe 35. I think that's good. Let's try line height, 1.5, there you go. And we can now remove the background. Let's remove the background of the right section and also the bottom section over here. And maybe we can, uh, and right now it looks like the image is located quite far to the right. Uh, we can do something like this. Perhaps the right section is around uh, 40 and the left section is around 60. Uh, for the right section, let's set the align items to the left. Oops, we don't want that. Let's try padding left. Oh, not left, but right. To bring it closer to the center. Let's increase the value to 30. And I think we're good. So let's go ahead and maximize this one. And uh, there you have it. I think we have a decent uh, online business card and uh, it teach us a lot when it comes to layouting we are using html and css and feel free to continue experimenting if you are not satisfied with the layout but i think overall we're good well i hope that this has been informative for you see you in the next one